Okay, everybody, check this out. Look at this. This little baby's working its way out of its egg. Now he's, he or she is cut on her own. And if you look really close, there's an egg tooth right there. I don't know if you can see it, but we're gonna go ahead and help it out. This is gonna be, like this is probably safe because it cut the membrane and everything. Everybody, this is my daughter. This is Juliet. Hello, hello. You know about my big snake named Juliet. It's her fault. So anyway, snake's kind of aggressive, kind of tough. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing my daughter now. It's really just that it's a big, beautiful snake, and I love it. So anyway, this is the same clutch. It started hatching yesterday, and this has got a world's only, and maybe we're going to change that today. There's only one of these on the planet Earth. This is a super tiger called, it's a super tiger. It's an anthrax. It's a genetic stripe. It's a sunfire, and, uh, and it's a motley. And it's basically called, a, I don't know what we're gonna name it, but a clown motley uh, sunfire is probably what we're gonna name it because that's what we, the shortened term of the long name. So if you look, it's got really cool markings. It's got two, it looks like Groucho Marx. See, it's got two eye, eyebrows, they're real bright. And then we got a dark spot there and then three spots on its nose. And it's really cool. So we're pretty excited. Uh, we haven't got to even see all these babies. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if these go in and cover, cover them back up. And then we're gonna, me and Juliet are gonna cut these eggs so it doesn't take too long. So you guys get to see whatever we're waiting for. Cause this should, there's still a whole bunch of world's first in here that we, I think there's more than just that one. You can go ahead and shut that all the way. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So we already saw that one's nose. You wanna go ahead and start on some of the open ones? Yeah. And so we're gonna just carefully cut them. Now the reason why we're cutting them, I know everybody gets all nervous. But the reason why, and, and for, for the verification for everybody out there, year to date, uh, 35, 30, 32 years of cutting eggs. I haven't yet to cut a baby. I hope to keep it that way. I don't like to say that, but you know, but uh, I have torn an egg taken away from my mom, but I've never cut a baby. So, so these are, got all those genes. That one snake has every gene that, that I- that one has blood? They always have blood. So you notice, if you notice these, the blood is subsided because it cut in, so there's blood in every egg because they have to cut through their membrane in order to get out. So after the blood bleeds for a second, it all goes down and it goes away. It doesn't affect the babies in any way, shape, or form. And now you see that one sticking his nose out. And those bubbles, so I've even had them cut like this, get stuck in their head out and die, and I've had them also go back in and drown trying to get out of another spot. Oh, look oh, at that. that's crazy. So that's a beautiful, that is a sunfire, Tiger Motley Anthrax. So that would be a world's first, but we made them before. <laughs> so I've been there, done that. We're kind of excited because this is like, like we figured out the other day, it's like like uh, 16 years of work that went into getting to this point. And we're running, we're not running out of things we can do, but 16 years to get there is a long time. Oh, look at that. So this is a velvet, uh, look at its tail. It's got like the coolest tail. Look at, look at the pattern on its tail. Can you guys see that? It's a, uh, wow, that is a pretty snake. So this might be the first velvet anthrax ever, uh, cause we, but maybe not. It might not be, it might just be a, okay. It isn't a velvet. It just looks like a velvet. It's just a really cool, unique pattern snake. It's got special pattern on it and uh, tricked me, but that's okay. I'm easily tricked because when you're making snakes that you've never seen before and you see a pattern that's really odd, you immediately go to it's the one of the snakes you're working to get at. So, what do we got there, Juliet? Um, open that one up. You can leave a little bit, leave the flap on. Okay. Not that it matters. They don't really need the flap, like all those are so ready. This is the same clutch. And uh, let's see here. Oh, there is a tiger anthrax. Uh, motley and uh, I think it's a tiger anthrax motley probably a sunfire what do we got here sure. okay that is a tiger let's see here so we're gonna see what that first one was in the first place so this is uh, literally like I said decades of work that went into making these snakes Ooh, that's a pretty snake but not a rare snake but it's rare oops it's rare in the respects, it's got all kinds of genes in it that aren't expressed, so it makes them look different. And uh, that's another one that looks like a velvet, but it's not. 
Here, you want to cut this one open? It's already started. Yeah. Let's see here. So I barely cut this, barely cut in, and then I put my finger in in order to know where everything's at. And wow, okay, that has got to be a velvet. But that last one tricked me. So that I think that's a velvet, a velvet, which is a tiger. Uh, anthrax genetic stripe, but I'm gonna have to wait until we get them out to really know and we may have got the that one is may not be a world's first It may be a world's only at this point because the genetics to get that genetics to come together is incredible That being said This is a really cool snake Look at the color on that. Wow, that is really different This is now hmm. this animal here isn't even coming out the right color and uh I am not sure why this one looks the way that is. That's cool though, the lines and you are know really what? incredible. <laughs> that might be what I think the other snake is, and that's why. This might be a velvet anthrax motley and a sun. So it's similar to the other one, but it's not missing one tiger gene, but it's different because of the velvet being half developed because velvet is one side of the tiger and not super tiger. But look at that, it's got the same markings on the eye like the other ones. See, it's got the two, two eyelash. I mean, uh, eyelash. eyebrows. Eyebrows. I keep forgetting that. Day. I did that. I did that when I cut yes, that clutch too. <laughs> eyebrows. I don't know, but so anyway, keep hoping. Keep. I want to see. I want to see that other snake in an albino form, and uh, that other one was a girl. Oh, look at that. So there's a super tiger. Very pretty snake. There's a. That's a super tiger. Obviously head stripe. Obviously probably had anthrax. Uh, everything's head albino. So there's another unique colored one. So you can see all those veins that you have to go through in order to cut, same veins that they cut when they go to come out. So it's just part of the process. And uh, oh, there's a tiger anthrax. You can see the pattern. So the tail's looking like that. So this is a normal tiger anthrax. And it's got, look at the pattern on the tails. They're just so incredible. It's one of the, my favorite parts. Isn't that incredible? That's like art. <laughs> it is. <laughs> It really yeah, is, it really and is. Uh, you know, it kind of really is because now these these are snakes are are custom bred, but it's all done in captivity. So that's just a granite back, and so that's you know granite back is a type of gene that has a shattered pattern. I changed the name a little bit because people were mixing it up with that anthrax, and uh, have you got my way yet? Yeah, go ahead. So if they were in the wild, they would they have a little tooth. They all have an egg tooth right in the front, and sometimes that egg tooth is broken or not very sharp, and that's how they drown in the egg. That's a beautiful anthrax tiger and very good looking. And, and where's uh, the mother? The mother's in the back. So let's see here. So oh what the heck is that? Whoa. So this is totally different. It's an albino? That's an albino, and you know what? I think it's the albino of the whole thing. <laughs> so I think we just got not only a world's first, we got a world's only again. And uh, there's only one, there's only one more. So let's see here. Let's see what we got right here. So this two is, more. oh, two more, more go ahead, here we go. We'll this time. is the grand finale of the whole clutch. Go. So let's see here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so I got a tiger, and she's got a genetic stripe. And so there you go, guys. There's the whole clutch, all kinds of... That, I'm almost positive, is an That's albino beautiful. of that. So I think we got the grand slam and both sides with every gene. This is every gene in it. So this snake, technically, if it's what I think it is, it's got two layers. So it's got two layers of albino in it, two layers of tiger in it. It's got uh, two layers to make anthrax in it. And it's got uh, Sunfire and it's got Motley in it. So that's a lot of genes. <laughs> that's so many genes that if I get any further along, I'm not gonna even be able to make a video because I can't take my shoes off in the middle of the video. So anyway, keep living the dream, guys. This is gonna, we're gonna have a really cool update video. So I hope you guys are subscribing or whatever you are, wherever you are at. And I hope to see you guys soon. So take care. See, see ya. Woohoo! <laughs> no, I didn't do it. <laughs>